Hello traders, this is Matt Golden here, and I'm going to be making this video today demonstrating uh, how you can use Vantage Point Intermarket Analysis software uh, along with the premium indicators that are available from Larry Williams uh, to trade individual equities. And so this approach works really well if you're, you're trading the options contracts or in just buying and selling the shares. Um, and generally one of the, the big uh, points of, of this approach is that we're using these indicators to find these much longer term uh, trends in the market. So generally, once you get this trade set up and vantage point, you know, gives you the go ahead that this, this trend is going to start, uh, well then you should expect about six to eight weeks of, of bullishness or bearishness in the market. So um, that's why I think it's very effective for the options where you really don't have to, you know, micromanage the trade in and out, just go ahead and buy that contract, be prepared to hold it and make money as that premium improves. But um, with these three charts that I have here, they really represent uh, trades that are at different cycles in this sort of six to eight week period. So, you know, if you're using this approach or are curious about how you, you know, uh, you know, what you should be looking for at different parts of the trade, um, this can definitely help you here. Now, uh, in this first market here, Adobe, uh, what I want to point out is, is well, we really want to focus on these two Williams indicators and, and show you where this trade setup would have uh, really been telling us, okay, now we really want to prepare and, and start looking to get bullish uh, the market. Now, here in Adobe, we see that the market had traded down to the 62 level, sort of bounced a little bit higher, but take a look at our, our very bottom indicator of electronic market accumulation index. Now, this indicator at the bottom really represents the, the really large smart money in the market. And if prices are ever running into a, a fresh new high or a fresh new low, um, generally on the commodities and currencies, we want to see a six month fresh new high or low. In the stocks, you may get these shorter term divergences uh, that'll really highlight some really good opportunities for you in the market. But um, what we see here is that when the market ran into this low in April, and bounced higher, market accumulation was matching that behavior. See, we hit this bottom, market accumulation also hit its bottom value. But as time went on and we got this sell-off in the market here, something very, very, we have, we have a much different situation. So, so really we have a, a much different sort of trading environment at this point where once the market had pushed to these lows, look at market accumulation. You know, not only is it well off of its lows, but as the market's going down each day, it's actually getting uh, more bullish and more bullish and, and more elevated. And so what that's telling us about the market is, you know, we wouldn't want to be short this market. It's telling us that these large smart players in Adobe are starting to step back in uh, to the market at around $60 a share. And we know that if we can get the Williams Professional Sentiment Index bullish, along with Vantage Point forecasting that this trend, in fact, is going to begin, then we can go ahead and, and take a position on the market. Now, uh, looking at this other indicator, the Williams PSI, this is our Professional Sentiment Index. And how I like to, to think of this is I, I like to think of the, the, the professional speculative uh, sentiment in the market. So you can see that this indicator, you know, it'll get bullish here, it get, flips over to bearish here. So it's going to change much more frequently as far as moving from a bullish to a bearish condition. That, that doesn't happen nearly as much here in the Electronic Market Accumulation Index. But if we have a situation where not only are these large smart actors coming back into the market, but the market is essentially oversold and the, the speculators are bullish as well, well then that's what we have essentially a double condition in the market. So I like to say, um, you know, you've really got two of these trading groups on the same side of the trade and then we can use vantage point to, to manage these sorts of situations more effectively. So we actually see here uh, on May 7th, absolutely everything lines up on the close of this day telling us that we would only want to be bullish Adobe and a nice strategy I like to use here to, to make things very visual is, is really drawing a green line on these sorts of days so that regardless of the market you're trading when you see this sort of trade setup happen you know that look there's a big solid green line there we're not shorting the market at all and if vantage point gives us a, a, a go ahead I meaning you know cross over to the upside our neural index flips up to one whatever we need to see for our trading style we can go in and, and get involved with that market and since we know that this this sort of cycle from this point on should take about six to eight weeks we really have a game plan set up for our trading in that market um, for quite a while you know we're not gonna you know sw be switching back and forth as far as uh, which way we think the market's going uh, we're just gonna keep trading at that direction and if you know we get stopped out of the trades well then we move on and find something else that that market didn't perform to our expectations but 
You see here that after our Williams trade setup a couple days later, neural index flips up to a one. So it goes from this uh, holding down at a zero position, moves up to one. That's your first indication that, that you know, you probably have a probability of a trend change here. Once vantage point gives you the cross over the upside, you're going long this market. And we see that this has been an, you know, from start to finish at this point here has been an excellent rally of about 20%. But what I want to show you here is that these Williams tools, when you combine them with Vantage Point, are just extremely effective to help, effective at helping you manage trades more more effectively. So knowing when to tighten up stops, you know, I like to lock stops right at my break even price. Um, but we see here that if we'd gotten into the market here uh, on about the 15th, 16th of May, when the market started to move up, so we got this nice rally higher. We see it's just a few days here. It's actually a really nice uh, move higher in the market of about 7%. You see our, our Williams PSI condition gets bearish there. And what it's warning us of is the retracement in the market. We've caught the 7% move higher, but we know that there's going to be a pullback at some point before the market keeps moving higher over the next you know six to eight weeks in, in our estimation. And we see here that after that trading day there, that's in fact what happens. The market pulls back, it's about five or six days, the market's trading at a lower level. Our blue line stays above our black line. So as trend traders, we hold on to this entire rally here and capture this entire move, but we were prepared even for that short-term temporary weakness in the market. So had we trend traded up and caught that 7% over this uh, uh, six or seven trading days, we know that we can jump out of the market and try to buy back in at a lower price. And if we do that, we're you know probably running into vantage point predicted low levels here. You see we're tapping these levels to where you can get an even better entry on that longer term trend uh, that, that you identified as, as playing out in the market. So, um, you know, 20% move here in Adobe from when all the Williams indicators lined up. But we actually see here recently, after this big gap up in the market, I'd be very cautious here. You see that when we ran up to these price highs, even though it's a gap up and that looks great, I would be very concerned that market accumulation at this point is lower than this point, even though these prices are higher. So, you know, take that 19, 20% you've made over this, you know, about six to eight uh, trading weeks and uh, move on to something else and find an opportunity where all these uh, indicators have lined up and, and look look really good for a new fresh opportunity in the market. Um, so, you know, that's sort of a whole trade sort of played out. Um, but, you know, even in a, a situation like this, you know, you can lock in your stops at entry down at 64, 66. If the market comes down, well, well, it'll stop you out. You'll still make all this money or just leave it open. And if it keeps trending higher, you're just going to keep making more and more money every single day and, and really have essentially zero risk on the trade um, You know, at this point. So um, this other uh, uh, market here I want to take a look at is Chesapeake Energy. I know I covered this a couple of weeks ago. Um, but you know, same thing as our, our last market there in Adobe. This is where everything got very, very bearish for us. And so this is where this red line would have gone on our charts, really alerting us to uh, look, both Williams indicators are bearish. At this 30 and $31 price level, it looks like this big money group is coming out of the trade. Not only that, but you see our uh, Williams PSI, our, our speculative uh, indicator here, our sentiment indicator is bearish as well. And we see our neural index. It moves from a one, holding up at a one, holding up at a one, flips to a zero, and the trade is on. But what I want to point out here is, you know, this has been a really great move lower in Chesapeake Energy. And if we look at this, we've caught about a 12.5% move to the downside. But now we notice that our Neuralytics is holding down at a zero. That's great. But look at our PSI. Um, while market accumulation looks like it's definitely you know looking good and getting lower and lower, our PSI condition is bullish here. And, and so what that tells us is if we caught this 12.5% move to the downside, now it's sort of decision time for us. We can either uh, lock in our stops very, very close. We can uh, lock in our stops at entry at that $30, $31 price level. So we've got a lot of cushion there. Um, but we should expect at least over the next few days for that retracement to come into the market. So to actually get some bullishness here in Chesapeake Energy, you know, if I had to use vantage point tools and make an estimation of you know where this market would head we have our, our predicted uh, triple crossover from vantage point and so uh, you know my expectation at this point in the trade would be it, it looks as the trade is is doing what we'd expected it to do our psi condition is bullish so if we caught this move lower we can trail our stops and just ride the trend and if it keeps continuing great but it's very likely that we get some bullishness that carries us back to this 18 day exponential moving average and there is very likely going to be a lot of sellers there so you can take this 12 and a half percent uh that you'd made here in the market use that to re-enter the market short at this 18 day level or uh, if we get that retracement over the next couple days and the neural index comes up to a one 
wait for the neural index to flip to back to a zero, and then it's very likely that that's when all that weakness is going to uh, start playing out again uh, in the market here. So um, that's Chesapeake Energy, um, Adobe, and now here's Taser, and here's a perfect example of a market that um, you know you should really be ahead. You know, using the the vantage point tools to and and the Williams indicators to get ahead of these sorts of trades, really be prepared for the opportunity when it arises. But you see here in in Taser, we'd hit this low in price. We we're also hitting this low in market accumulation, but as prices drifted lower to this $11 level, look what really happened here. I mean, market accumulation is definitely elevated off of its previous lows. Additionally, we see that the PSI is rather bullish uh, at this time period as well. And you see that our neural index so far has flipped up to a one here. So it could have been possibly if we're you know, really short term getting in below that $11 price level, neural index pops up to a one. If we get our blue line over our black line, that could be a really great trend for us to get involved in. But um, you know, this is a, just a good situation of, you know, these are how the charts are gonna look before an opportunity even presents itself here, where you know, the market price is still moving lower. We haven't gotten our crossovers yet, but you know, we've taken stuff like this and put it on a watch list and, and really be prepared for when those really good opportunities come, when our, our blue line gets above our black line, when our neural index is holding up at a one and, and start trading these markets that you know, we can see that these these new buyers are coming in with these Williams indicators and that the sentiment is, is really in our favor uh, to capture some sort of move in the market so that we can lock in those stops and, and open ourselves up to catching these really long-term trades like Adobe, where you catch 20% to the upside, Chesapeake so far 12.5% in just a few weeks. So, um, you know, I hope this helps anybody if you're trading with the Williams indicators. Um, if you're, you know, interested in this approach, like I always say, you know, give market technologies a call. They'll go through the markets you're trading, whether that's stocks, whether it's commodities or forex and show you how vantage point can really be a huge benefit to you so you're not getting uh, you're really mismanaging trades and, and costing yourself a lot of money with that mismanagement and, and really just not being patient uh, let vantage point take over that side of your trading and, and really help you uh, pinpoint those the you know, timing with your trades so um, everybody have a great you know trading week it's it's early Monday morning so we'll see how this week goes and uh, good luck to everyone okay thanks guys